Oh, what do I do? Um. So. <laughs> No power, huh? Could just, you know, rip a strip mine right off the right off the bat. I do love me a good old fashioned strip mine. Hole breaker horror is also pretty disgusting. Also a pretty disgusting card. Uh, it's questing beast. I mean, I own an Ashen Rider or something that you want to take later after you have the means to reanimate them, so it's not something you want to start with. Uh, the rest of this doesn't really do much for me. Like, Dire Fleet is... Dire Fleet can be really good. Um, has very high upside. Mystical Tutor would be a good pick if I was forcing Storm, but I might be trying to do more of a stacks type deck here. So let's take that. Now there's Gaia's Cradle and Dark Depths. Ooh, and early Dark Depths could be pretty sweet. There's also Coalition Relic, which does go into that brown sort of uh, deck that the Strip Mine is looking to be in. But I have yet to do a Dark Depths build, so let's do it. Field of the Dead is not what I'm looking for. Yog Will is a spicy meatball. Um, there's Deluge. Gilded Drake, K, K Command. Um, I mean, if I'm going to be stacks, I'm probably going to want to be like uh, some sort of like white, black, red. Cathar Commando fits in there. Mm, I guess green also works. Survival in here now. I'm looking at like K Command, Deluge. commando and like also kind of looking at yog will in case i want to just like jump into storm but i think if yog will makes its way back to me then that's a really good sign for storm being open and i don't want to go into it too early as i always do so let's just take this deluge figure it out from there. there's a crucible so now we have crucible strip mine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also an Ophiomancer, which would go super well in here, but uh, cross that bridge when we get to it, because I'm not passing that. Metalworker is kind of sweet in this sort of a deck. So is Elite Spellbinder, Mesmeric Fiend. Sunbaked Canyon works really well, because you can just continue getting it back from your graveyard, sacking it and drawing cards. feel like the Mesmeric Fiend will probably wheel. And I should be taking something along the lines of like the Sunday Canyon, the Spellbinder, uh, maybe even Metalworker could be good in a deck like this. So we're probably going to be pretty artifact heavy. I don't think Show and Tell is where I'm going to be. Um, I do want to have ways to search for my combos though. But I also want people to not have fun. Oh, there's a Braids? Yeah, we're going to take a Braids. Braids is exactly where I want to be. Uh, braids, Skyclave would be another really good one. Um, Lava Claw. Time Spiral, even. But uh, this, is, this is coming together. This is certainly coming together. I'm going to take this Prismatic Vista, I think. It's a nice way to be... Oh, there's also a Battle Ball. Hmm... There's Battle Ball and Elspeth. There's two, four, six, eight, nine cards in here. So there's gonna be one card on the on the on the spin. It's probably gonna be like Pyretic Ritual or Eureka. Um. No, I'm gonna take the Vista. I think it's gotta be a uh, okay, perfect. Rewarded with a Bitter Blossom. Right now I'm just mono black too, which is like pretty nice to be. Um. Fatal Push, Disenchant, Hullbreaker, Horizon Canopy are all certainly considerations. What do you do again? 
Lose two life unless they discard a card. If you control a demon or devil, you gain two life. Create a 1 1 devil whenever this creature dies with one damage to target. Your player just. Casualty X one. Poppy isn't legendary. Um, Thalia would also fit super well in this deck. And it's very strong. Very annoying against a lot of decks. But I'm just going to take the Fatal Push. Jeez. Like, Grist is awesome. Knight's Whisper is pretty solid. Manatide is pretty freaking funny. When you're doing, like, a resource denial sort of deck. I think I'm just in for the Knight's Whisper, though. We'll keep this mono black for now. All right. Cathar Commando is exactly what I'm looking for. Ophiomancer Wheels. There's an Ephemerate in here. Elite Spellbinder Wheels. Push Claw Talisman Wheels. Yeah, okay. This deck's gonna be nasty. I can already feel it. All the black cards are wheeling. We already have um, Crucible, Strip Mine. We have Dark Depths. We're super black, so that means we can definitely be... Um, we can definitely take, like, uh, some of the other combos that go along with Dark Depths. Yeah, exactly. We got Eureka back. <laughs> so there's Wasteland here, but there's also Godless Shrine, which is probably what I should take. Archon is disgusting if you can do some spicy things with it. Parallax Wave also can put in some work. But I think I'm going for the full white, white, black, no fun deck, and that's just going to be Godless Shrine all the way. Uh, Damnation versus Exile of Tart Card and Regretter versus a permanent card with a plus one, plus one mind sash. You said bell peppers and beef. Um, this is pretty spicy. Are you listening to me? There's no beef. So is Damnation and Gideon Jura, though. Gideon Jura also just pumps out tokens, which is what you need for like a braid sort of deck. Probably should just be taking like this or the Damnation. Considering we already have Deluge, I probably should just be taking the Gideon. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do that. Mm. More token producers, life gain slash like sack thing. Minus four three. You cast or copy an instant or sorcery. Create a one one black green pest. I don't really have that many instants or sorceries though, right? I have like one two, which is like kind of a nombo right there, anyways. Um, I could take the Elish Lord, but I don't think I'm ever gonna cast it. Um, so I think it's like a history of Benalia versus Kitchen Finks. Kitchen things being double white. I mean, history is also double white though, so it's Skyclave, so maybe that shouldn't be an issue. Sedgemore, which also hits pretty hard. Um, God, they're all three drops too, and I'm kind of stacked on threes already. Jet, do you know that there are three things? Whatever, one of those will wheel. I'm just gonna take the Elish Mark because it's the most different. I, this has to be kids. Oh, man. Spectral Procession, Wall of Adams. Omens, what do you do? And it's a battle for you become the Monarch, whenever you become the Monarch, card player sacks a creature? Jeez, that's good. Oh, that's so gross. It's a 5 drop, though. I think the acceleration and fixing is just too strong to pass up. Mind Slaver would be nice. Sword would be nice. Wall of Omens would be super sweet, too. Monastery Mentor, Figure of Destiny, Bob, Top. Holy crap, a pack. What's um, I might just be taking Bob here. This might be where I'm at, and I cut the Elish more. Yeah, this is feeling a lot like a Bob deck. Lingering Souls is exactly where I'm at. Silent Clearing would be super sweet, too, especially with this Crucible. Hoping that it wheels, but Lingering Souls is just too sweet. Lean in Relic Order would also be awesome. It's like Revoker versus Hero's Downfall. I guess Adeline also works really well. It just makes one ones. Hmm. Revoker definitely fits the theme. I don't have much spot removal yet, though, right? I mean, I guess I have what, like Skyclave. 
No, I should take I should take the hero's downfall. Oh, the smokestack? Oh yeah, get in. It's my original pack. Take like unlicensed Hurst versus Parallax Wave. Hurst is a nice option to have to be, you know, just for like all of the decks that are trying to get graveyard synergy. Parallax Wave, I always feel like super overperforms. So I'm gonna take the Hearse anyways. Lion Sash wheels. Uh, I'm gonna take the Tundra in case I open a blue piece of power in pack three. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, both of those wheel. Um, I don't think I have any other knights. Oh, those are knights? Uh, yeah, sure. Wall of Omens versus Sword. I have eight creatures. Taking the wall. Taking the Mentor. Jesus. Well, I'll be able to play blue. Well, I'll be able to play blue. Mox Jet seems right up my alley. Caracas would be sweet. Student of Warfare would be nice, but god damn, you can't just. Douthy Voidwalker would be super spicy. I feel like people underestimate that card. There's the Hex Mage. Uh, there's Tawarian Academy, which isn't really going to be for this deck. Karn would be okay. Tide Hall of Sculler and Vryn Wingmare would both be really good, but they'll probably wheel. I don't think anybody else is in our colors. I'm gonna take the Hex Mage just for the. Ah, uh, the Hex Mage probably wheels too, though. So I'd already have the Dark Depths. I'm gonna take the Sculler. I think Sculler's more important. Cut this. Cut one of these three drops. Probably History of Anali, it's whatever. And then I'm at. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, this pack is sweet. Not really for me, but it's sweet. <laughs> uh, I probably should be taking something like the Murderous Rider or Golos to search up Dark Depths. Right? Could take the Batter Skull. Could take the Retro for your Foundry. Oh, I could just take Vindicate. Yeah, let's take Vindicate. That's sweet. Gaunty? Yeah. Ravages would be fun too, but it probably wheels. Flicker Wisp. Um, taking the Gaunti. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? So this is 23. I could probably play this deck at 26 lands. Or I mean at 16 lands instead of 17. Cut like the Hearse and bring it in. So now we're down to... Well, I guess this is 16 lands because of the Dark Depths. I didn't mean to take that. I wanted to enlarge it, but uh, I guess I will take this. Balance Stoneforge Mystic. Infernal Grasp. I have in my sideboard no equipment. Is Balance even going to be any good in this deck, though? Probably not. I'm gonna take the random spot removal. Bane Slayer, Wog, Dismember, Relic. I already have a Relic type effect in the graveyard. I, I, I could take another one for playing against. I think this deck's gonna be very strong against that sort of archetype though, so I'm gonna take the Dismember. Scrubland, yeah. Sweet. Krakus comes back. Uh, Gideonjura, Student of Warfare. It's just gonna be a Krakus. There's the Hex Mage. Murderous Rider versus O Ring. I think probably having the O Ring is gonna be more valuable. Both of these are awesome, actually. Some good things to Flicker Wisp. 
Ravages is kind of a win more sort of thing, so I'm going to take the Flicker Wisp. Karmic Guide I'll bring in against another fellow black deck. Oh, I ended up, yeah, I ended up taking the Flicker Wisp. Uh, balance comes back anyways, why not? Braids and Smokestab both do kind of the same thing, but that's fine. Wog comes back, jeez. It's got to be three drops, right? God, oh, Flicker Wisp is so strong, though. This destroys artifacts or enchantments. It's too good to move. Necessary. Very good. I guess I have Mesrick Queen and Tide Hollow Scholar. I might not even pull. I think Tide Hollow is probably just a little bit better. And then, uh, yes. One more card. I guess I'll put the O-Ring for now. It's kind of a nice catch-all, but... My fixing is pretty darn good, so I'm not even going to worry about it for four exactly. Essentially 16 lands. Four four drops, everything else ends at three. I think that'll be fine. Two mocks. Bootang clan ain't nothing to fuck with. looks okay. Especially on the draw. The draw it looks fine. Let's just play a tap try land that thing's out. Peace. Another tap try land? I think I'm just gonna flicker wisp here and flicker their Magdra because it comes back. Uh, no, it, it'll come back at the beginning of the next 10 step. Um, either way, that seems fine. Um, flick my swamp then. Bluff like I have some sort of removal. I'll probably just block here though. Considering I already blew up one of their lands. I'm kind of hoping that they play something so that I can just jam Crucible into not into not untap mana. Dark Ritual? Okay, this is a little more terrifying. I think I'm still... Almost no matter what they do, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be just jamming Crucible and then just strip mining away their land. Oh! Wow. Are they just going for it? They discarded Tendrils. They discarded Gruel Signet. Played another tap land. Uh, oh, there's Dark Deaths, too. <laughs> or, I mean, there's Vampire Hex Days. Oh, what do I do? Um, so. <laughs> all the things. All the things. Um, I think this is going to be the most 
Because I think they're playing Storm. So I think I just need to cut them off of the most mana possible. I think strip mining away their Grixis land is going to be the best way to do that. Fast bond? Oh my god. Okay, this has actually just got real dangerous. Hmm. All right, change of plans. Well, they gotta they gotta go off this turn. They have tendrils in the graveyard. They've got dark ritual in the graveyard. They've got four draws essentially off of uh, Harnfell. They got Mountain Mountain. It's not gonna help too much. And then they have two more draws. Oh no! That was their last card in hand. They have 14 cards essentially now. I guess 21 cards technically that they get to look at. This might be bad. can't tap that for mana. So blowing up one more of their lands meant that they would not have been able to time spiral that turn. But I also wouldn't have been, oh my god. Oh actually, this might be okay. This might not be okay, actually. Your signet. So now it looks like they're looking. Swamp seeding song. Counts at five, which is not going to be enough to kill me. I mean, six technically. But if they have like another draw seven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That's not going to be enough. Okay. So I put enough pressure on them to where they were forced into storming. Oh, but they don't necessarily die. I gotcha. To the uh, hex mage.
it's just lingering souls. Flashback lingering souls. And then blow up this hand fell. I think that's the only way they're gonna potentially get back in the game. Um yeah, that should do it. I mean, if they rip here, then they rip here, man. What can you do? All right. Okay. That was pretty scary. Mesmeric Fiend is definitely coming in. Oh my goodness, is that coming in? Um, and maybe the unlicensed Hurst also? Bring in the Hurst. Let's cut raids. And Wall of Blossoms. No, 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 Let's keep Wall of Blossoms because it cycles. And cut the Infernal Grass because they don't really have creatures. Um, cut the Dismember also for like Mentor or like History or something along those lines. Maybe O-Ring actually, yeah. All right, all right, all right, yeah. We don't need the spot removal against Storm. This is a hand that I like and I'm going to keep. They've got their own Mox Diamond. Hurst is going to help quite a bit. So that's the Insignit. Gaunti is also a good one. Down to two cards in hand. They did get a red source though, so they could get their uh, horn again, which is their main way of digging through their deck. They're debating whether they need to like go for it right now, I think. Which in all honesty, they probably have another turn. Or probably two. But you never know against white black. You never know when they're gonna start like attacking your hand out of nowhere. Or your deck. <laughs> or your deck. Main phase Foth? Um, yeah, let's look like that. Take the brain freeze and the two lands. equal to the number of cards exiled with it. So right now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Show me the goods. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we're just swooping that time spiral. That's just not getting cast. Start bringing the beats. I know they have two lands and a brain freeze in their hand. And then the last card is an unknown. I'm just never casting this time spiral this game. Could Oblivion ring their like Mox Diamond? I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to continue smashing. This is a, this is just a two-turn clock right here. They need to rip something off the top. That was a pretty sad flop. Didn't really get them into any more card draw or any like extra value. Play the stomping ground. Are they just gaining life so that they don't die? Ah, oh, Palancron. We can play it more than once, though. It takes 11 mana. Yeah, what? Um, I'm confused. Oh, they have turnabout, okay. But why would you return it? You still don't have enough to cast it. So you just wasted mana? Well, I guess they have brain freeze and turnabout. Yeah. They're thinking all of their lands. All right. It's a good start. It's a good start. We are white. That was like the white black no fun deck against its absolute best matchup in uh, Storm, so. <sighs> it's a shipment. Oh, come on. Two full hands with no lands? That's wild. Bruh. What is going on here? I mean... Well, sometimes it just be like that. It'd just be like that. That's fine. I mean, planes off the top, and we're looking okay.
This looks like another sort of combo deck though. They're just main decking Red Elemental Blast. Spicy. They know what they're weak to. This looks more like a Kiki combo sort of deck though. Hey, we got something on the board. Or we cast a spell, it might get countered still. And it got countered. I want them to play some, like, big dumb 5 mana artifact and for me to rip up lands. That's exactly the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> oh my god, we're dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, not necessarily dead, I guess, but uh, we're pretty close to it. Three turn clock, and they can just leave essentially six blue untapped if they really wanted to. Cool, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes you mold a four. Um, what does that make me want to do? It makes me want to unlicense Hurst again. It makes me want Mesmeric Fiend. It makes me want to cut. They had nothing really. All right. I mean, we can draw lands, right? <laughs> we can draw lands. I believe. I believe in our ability to draw lands. Hey, that right there is land. Uh, shit. They have, that's a red source, right? Island. So they have Splinter Twin. I probably just need to take the Demonic Tutor, but I really probably need to take the Abrade. And then just hold up the Dismember for whatever they Splinter Twin. Or Cathar Commander. Okay, so we can play around the Splinter Twin. But if I take anything other than the Abrade, then they're gonna just kill the Tide Hollow Scholar next turn. I didn't play Charter Course or Demonic Tutor. Why? That makes me think that they drew a counter spell, so I'm gonna hold off and play the Cathar Commander in a turn. You have some very 
smooth moves, my friend. Or maybe they thought Charter of Course was an instant. Can you teach a guy that could like be too. to make all those cool moves? Like judo and kung fu. But this would be pretty telling what happens right now. Okay. Oh, that's pretty spicy. Let's see if Bob sticks. Bob does stick, okay. And then we have Destroy Target Creature. But now do you want to not kill? Which one do you want to get rid of? The Bob or the Cathar Commander? Double red, create a double blue. Okay, so they have more. You are tense. Monic tutor. Sure. You apply excessive force. And I'm assuming that they're going to zap control that these two. Fluid motion. No. Okay. Curious. Ooh, that gets them off double red. I think getting them off double red is more important than getting them off black entirely. Becoming like clear water. Water. Right. Water. Still have dismember. Drifts without effort. Still putting on a ton of pressure. Pounds down in a torrent the very next. Oh, fuck. That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. I mean, if they if they have it here, then they have it. Like water. And there's nothing I can do. But if they don't have it here, then I think it's best to play Smokestack. Alright, GG's. Well played, opponent. They had all the answers. That was just well done. They maneuvered their way through all of our interaction. Mm, more minimal land hands. All right, there we go. There we go. That's more like it. I'm going to keep the third land and ditch the dismember, I think. Either that or ditch the lingering souls. Mm. Yeah, I think I'd like to keep the dismember. Lingering souls is pretty spicy, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. I think it's best to have removal early just in case.
exactly in case you're playing against some sort of green ramp deck. Mm, I mean, I guess it's Sculler before they get anything down. Let's see what we're looking at over here. Devoted Druin, Endurance, Flash, Reach, and Target. Player put all cards from their graveyard on the bottom of their library in a random order. Or Nissa. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna take this Nissa. I don't really care about the Devoted Druid. Endurance is also like whatever. gonna leave the devoted druid there mox jet was revealed <laughs> sweet they'll never know My value. <laughs> Not my value. Okay, fine. Fine. Just gonna kill this thing. Imagine that if they had anything, they're just windmill slamming it here. Oh, hello. I'm not attacking with a Tide, tide Hollow Skuller anymore because they can double block it and get their Nissa. Rex Age, my Tide Hollow. Or oh, probably the Crucible, actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. There. Could Deluge here for a one, and it's a three for two. Puts them back down to like five mana most. I think that's worth it. Oh, it gets rid of my Bob, which is gonna stop me from losing more life also. Hit them for one. Sylvan Library is a really good draw. It's a really good rip. Bitter Blossom's pretty strong here too. You have to be kind of careful about paying life, though. They paid life once. And it's six drop. Worm coil. Worm coil's pretty good.
Hmm. I think I just ship it. I have to decide whether I want to. I think I hero's downfall their worm coil on upkeep. Sun Zenith? Oh, Finale of Devastation for three, and then they're probably going to get like uh, Eternal Witness to get their Worm Coil engine back or something along those lines. Corsair Prefix. Oof, and Group on top. It's kind of brutal. Lingering Souls is a mighty fine draw. I'm just going to play this Dark Depths out. can eat either Tide Hall of Sculler or the Ophiomancer. They also get to put a land on top of their library if they, if they find one, which they did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This can be a close game. They swing with both of the worm tokens. Oh, they eat the flyer. Okay. The wall of roots. Then I definitely am killing the lifelink one. They don't swing. That's kind of interesting. Vindicate. I think I'm supposed to did what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They need one more mana to be able to play Crater Hoof. In your hand and shuffle your library. I think I'm supposed to kill this then. All right, that was a little more sketchy than I would have liked it to have been. Um, Wog seems like it's gonna be good. Let's bring in Wog and let's cut. this I'm bottoming the fatal push or no yeah 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 I'm bottoming the fatal push This time I'm just taking the Wall of Roots because next turn I'm casting Braids. 
And I'm just going to keep them off of being able to cast anything in their hand. Sweet. So, so sweet. So incredibly sweet. <laughs> oh, this is such a spicy meatball. Okay. Sacking the Mox Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was dope. That was... <laughs> that was dope.